What's going on guys, it's Katz here and welcome to episode 2 of my F1 2017 career mode. Last episode we accepted an invite to an invitational event, so let's get into it. Um, it's an overtake challenge, we have to overtake 9 cars and we have 4 minutes to do it on a short version of a uh, real Formula 1 track. This is um, Silverstone, and we will probably be here in episode 10. It uh, depends a bit on the circumstances, because if everything goes to plan, this should be episode 10. But here we go, we overtake our first opponent in the first corner, then a little later we overtake a guy on the straight. They're all driving in very old McLaren cars, and back then the McLaren were dominant, but they're still not faster than the uh, than this Williams. And it's a bit fun because we are driving for the Williams team uh, in our career. So us getting to drive an old Williams car is amazing. And we kind of hit that guy a bit and I think we got a warning for it. We'll re overtake that guy with a high risk dive bomb. But... Um, there's only one and a half minutes left, we take the chance to go around the outside and it works. And we have uh, Moreno here. None of these are real drivers. There's also uh, a girl, Lausen, it's a Danish woman. She's always uh, in these invitational events. But yeah, we overtake her and then we see her. Just about five seconds left now. Can we make this overtake? Looks like we can, but the time runs out. Now the question is, will it count? That's the most exciting part. Because we don't know if it will count or if it won't. And it didn't, because we had 10 overtakes before we did that one, so... Unfortunately, it didn't count. But if we had just had a second or two more, it probably would have. But, um... Here we go, for the, uh modern day cars. Uh, let's take a look at our team's expectations for our qualifying session. Qualify 9th and beat Felipe Massa, just like last time. Let's just hope that this time we'll be able to do it. We'll see here the weather, it's gonna be dry weather in qualifying, but it's gonna be rain in the race. But uh, we actually get a really nice start here, just before any corners and everything. We're P1, and we do P1 pretty much the whole way through the snail section, but then we lose it, and we're P5, and then we start dropping a bit, and nothing much really happens then. We're in a provisional P8 here for this corner, and uh, yeah, it's P8. Nice job. So, um... We beat the uh, expectations, but I don't know, did we beat Felipe? Yes, we did. We are better than Felipe Massa. He qualified 11th, but I think I heard something about that. He had to get a, ge a gearbox change, which is not allowed before completing six races. So he's probably been demoted down to, um, to last on the grid. But um, here's the reputation level, uh, and it's looking good. So far, uh, here we have the uh, expectations for the race, P9, and beat Felipe. So uh, let's just get right into it. We have the uh, lights counting up, five red lights, and lights out and away we go. We get a very nice start here, but then the other drivers start to gain speed and and then we get overtaken here. We we have contact here with Roman Groschen, we start sliding a little bit, but we gain control and we get a warning for hitting Groschen. We see Ricardo is going very aggressively around the outside there, uh, attacking his teammate Max Verstappen here, and he gets past him actually. So let's see if we can um, do any overtakes. Yes, we can. Overtaking both the uh, Red Bulls and the Force India, so we're in P5, better than ever before in this career. Well, it's only second race, but yeah, still 
Can we get Sebastian Vettel here, the German Ferrari driver? Yes, we can. We have officially overtaken that Ferrari, the second best car on the grid. The best car is the uh, Mercedes, which is Hamilton and Bottas. Uh, Bottas would just set the fastest lap, but the uh, battle with Vettel is not over. He's coming up alongside us. He has the faster car, and into the corner he goes in front of us. So we lost the position again when we make a very stupid mistake there, and uh, that results uh, in Ricardo overtaking us and Max Verstappen pushing on. We have contact with him, very rough contact, but we do uh, secure our P6 for now. But uh, I think yeah, now we we just completely mess up here and. We have very rough contact there with uh, Perez. He almost spun out and I'm almost spun out. Um, but uh, we l just got overtaken by two cars. But it looks like, can we? Yes, we can get it back. We are now P7. Now the question is, can we get Max Verstappen back? Let's, uh, jump forward two laps here. Looks like we can, yes. No, we're, we're not completely past him. He's still running alongside us. He's a bit behind us now. We go into the um, the big uh, half circle, and uh, we secure our P6. Now we uh, would like to catch up to Daniel Ricciardo, but we only have just about one lap left. And here we have the penultimate corner in the last lap, and it doesn't look like there's enough room to overtake Ricciardo. So. What we want to focus on now is protecting ourselves um, for Verstappen, or to Verstappen. But we um, we do it, and it's P6. It's a very well, very well done. It's a very good result for the Williams driver. And here we have the podium, top three: Bottas first, Raikkonen second, and Hamilton third. So um, let's see here. Uh, where was Felipe? Let's just go down here and see. Yeah, Felipe Massa started P20 and moved up to P19. That's not bad. But uh, let's take a look. Oh, we got the driver of the day. Is that the Williams driver? That's us. And we overtake Felipe in the driver standings. Perfect. What about the constructor standings? We overtake Force India, so we are now P4. So we're actually the fourth best team on the grid. Well, not performance performance wise, but uh, as you saw there, we're drawing with um, Felipe in our rivalry, and uh, we have very good uh, reputation level. But um, that was it for this episode. Um, if you enjoyed it, um, if you wouldn't mind, just leave a like, uh, it helps me out, um, but uh, yeah, goodbye.